Hi, I'm Andrew the Baker's Guest. We're here today with the new Thermal Dynamics 60iX. Um, just came in. We're going to do an unboxing of this uh, unit. So, it, just a couple of things. Uh, in this video, we're going to go over the differences, the new things on this unit. We're going to go over uh, cut capacity, consumable changes, and we're going to actually cut with this unit. And then we're going to offer a deal at the end of the video if you're looking to purchase this unit. So, a couple of different things on this unit. So they've increased the cut capacity from 5 eighths to 3 quarters of an inch. So the original 60i was only 5 eighths. This one's 3 quarters of an inch. It will sever up to inch and a half. We're going to try that today. So just pulling it out of the box here. Came in a box within a box. So let's see what we have here. We've got our torch. And what's unique about that torch, it's the new quick connect torch. So you can just either replace the torch or the lead. Um, comes with a manual for that. Got the ground clamp. And we have a, what looks to be a consumable kit inside. So also new to this torch, or new to this plasma cutter, is the new black consumables. Extended life, 60% longer than the original. There's the consumable kit. All the stuff comes inside. Very cool. Alright. And down inside the box, I noticed there is a thermodynamics hookup chart. So gives you like a uh, a large picture view of how to hook everything up. Pretty cool. Pretty new front and back. That's unique, different. Alright, let's pull this the unit actually out of the box here. Light, not too bad coming out of the box. So it's a smaller unit as you can see. Pretty unique. Um, now check out what I notice here. So Thermodynamics, remember, is an ESAB company. So notice all the ribbing on there. Kind of resembles a Rebel. But before we dive into the machine, I got it all hooked up, plugged in. We'll turn it on here just to show you the front interface. But on this kit, so what I was talking about in that comes with a with a uh, consumable kit. So unlike their previous machines, these kits are bigger than what they have been in the past. So there's a lot more consumables. So right now, this kit is valued at right at around three hundred and fifty dollars. Now, generally. It would only come with a couple of electrodes, a couple of tips extra. Now this thing comes with full packs and stuff, so very cool. Um, just remember too on this box, uh, there's your part number, so reorder. We'll attach that down below. Uh, and it, this is the Black Series consumable tip. So inside this, we got an extended uh, life shield and uh, heat shield. So for me today, I, I got this drag shield cap. Uh, does not come with a kit, but what it does, it screws into that extended life heat shield and it keeps your, it's a cap, so it keeps your your tip away from your part. So extends the life of your tip. Pretty cool, pretty cool stuff. Um, also in this kit, we have a the uh, shield cap for gouging. So this thing comes with a set of gouging consumables. Also gouging nozzle there. It also has three 60 amp standoff in the bag here for the uh, replacement parts. I'm trying to show them off here. Three of them in there. It has three drag nozzles also in the kit. Let's see what else. And it has three the Black Series um, electrodes in the kit. So what those are and where this thing is standing off. So it extends the life by 60% using these consumables, these black series. So what it is, it's just an anodized copper and it has more hafnium in the center. So it extends the life of the electrode. Pretty awesome, come standard in this kit. There's a firing cap, some lube for the O-ring and then some extra O-rings for your torch there that go on there. So if you're not familiar with what um, the O-rings are and all that, we'll break down the torch for you. So generally people don't know why it comes with lube and o-ring so on the back of this torch here i'll get that 
I say back, there's a little O-ring. So every time you change out consumables, you should put a dab of lube on there and just run around there and then screw that back on. It just helps extend the life of that, that uh, the thread pattern and the O-ring. All right, so I got the torch hooked up and everything. We went through the consumables. Let's go over the power up on this unit. So on the back side of this unit, I got air power. It's got a breaker style switch, so you just flip it to the right. It's got a water separator on the back for the air. We'll go around to the front. So it's running through its setup. It's telling you what voltage we're hooked up to. That's the software that it's running. And then it's gonna test for air pressure, as you can see, just to make sure that we have good air pressure, which we do. So everything's in the green. All right, so we have 60 amps. It goes all the way down to 10 amps for those people that wanna do fine cutting, finesse cutting, artwork, stuff like that, sheet metal. Um, they do sell, we do have consumables online uh, down below in the drop box for 20 amp consumables. So to go through the thing, so on this thing, there's a little pictorial here, a torch, and it's showing these, uh, these dots in a line. So what this is saying is we're severing metal. So this is two pieces of steel and see how the middle bar is not green. So it's showing like we're making a cut. We go to the, the lock lit up. So what that's gonna do is a trigger lock. So we pull the trigger once, locks the trigger and we can cut with it. And then it goes, you click the trigger to go off. Next one is for expanded metal. So grading and that kind of thing. So see how there's intermittent dots. It's just giving you a pictorial of what expanded metal would be. So this torch will work on that. This is gouging. You can see we're, we're gouging out a weld there in that little pictorial. Pretty cool, pretty easy to see. And then this is the air test situation. So you can <clears throat> manually set your air pressure, but we're, in the green is where you wanna be. All right, there we go. And then also, we there is a 20 foot, this is a 20 foot torch. They make a kit with a 50 foot torch. So. It gives you the what torch you're running at SL60. And then if you add a length to your lead, you want to add one. So that's showing you that you're adding a length to your lead. And then you move your air pressure into the green and then you're all set. So this thing will run an uh, SL60 torch and an SL100 torch. So if you have an SL100, you can plug it into this thing. Pretty cool. It's got a quick connect ground clamp everything plugs right in it's it's uh pretty clear cut on the thing so we got we're gonna cut some metal now um as you can see i got a series so we got some thick steel we got some stainless we got some aluminum um we're gonna try and gouge a weld we're gonna cut some stuff so let me get my gear on we'll give this thing a shot so before we dive in right into cut i got the gear on i'm gonna show you something here so remember this is a quick attached torch but look so look, look at this this machine is smart to where see it gives me an error so it's telling me it's constantly checking all it, the status of all its systems so when i unscrewed that it said that the torch was disconnected so get an error line goes back together check the air pressure and it kicks back on pretty cool little unit so you saw that light light up that's the error code light and then it reads out an error code it's all in the manual so if you don't know what it's re saying go to the manual this is it uh, consumable uh, life monitor so what it's doing when that lights up that means either electro tip that kind of thing are going bad and then you have an overheat um, light that comes on so if a machine gets overheated with, during use that light will come on it'll stop working so let's give this thing a shot so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start with some thinner material we're gonna go stainless we're gonna try steel right now we got eighth inch here we're gonna jump into some stainless and then aluminum and then we're gonna dive into some thicker material. So let's give this thing a shot here. Just right through a nice clean cut. A little bit shaky, that was me. That was me on the start too on that first one there. Pretty cool, let's try. We're going to jump into some 8 inch stainless steel here. Cuts right through that stainless, no problem. 
Right through that like butter. Yeah, that's pretty that's pretty cool. So we just ran steel, stainless steel, aluminum. Uh, that's just a standoff tip. Pretty cool. Now, if you notice my I had a little bit extended arc length on that. So that's a, a new feature to this machine. You can have a little bit higher standoff and it still cuts through it. Alright, so let's jump right up. Now this machine, like I said, is rated for three, three quarter of an inch. It'll sever up to an inch and a half. I've got to put a piece of one inch here. Let's see how it does. quarter they consider a severance cut. The slag just holding that piece on a little bit. As you can see, pretty nice clean cut for considered a severance cut. That's pretty sweet. All right, we're gonna try this machine out now on one and a half inch. So this, this machine, like I said, is rated for three quarter, but it says it'll sever one and a half inch. So I have a piece of one inch and a piece of half inch. Um, we're actually gonna be putting this machine to a good test too because it's two pieces. So we have an air gap between the two which is gonna act, it's gonna make the piece almost like it's a little bit thicker than that. Um, but now, like I said, this is just a severance cut. It's not gonna be pretty, but we'll see if it'll do it. All right, I'm gonna give it a shot here. Severance cut there. Put a little bit of slag re weld on that, but as you can see real close there, and it cut inch and a half all the way through that. So pretty sweet. Now, it's not the prettiest thing in the world, but you can see it. Very cool. Alright, so I got her set up for the gouging. Um, came with the consumables in the kit. I'm going to switch to gouging here, process. All right, so she set up for gouging. I got a nice little weld here. We'll give this thing a shot. So when you want to come in to gouge, you're almost going to be at a 45 degree angle, almost between 45 and flat. And you want to have an area where it's going to throw sparks. You want to have an uh, open area or an area that you don't want sparks thrown. How about that? All right, let's give this thing a shot here. Now, if you saw me, I kind of almost laid it flat and just walked it right out, but as you can see it, I'll just stay wrong. Pretty awesome. Let's try this, let's try this one here. Yeah, it works really well. Um, so, like I said, standard consumables. We've got the extended life heat shield and a shield for your nozzle there. Comes standard with the consumable kit. And that is a pretty awesome little machine. So, All right, so I, I mean, after gouging with this unit, pretty awesome. I, I, in my opinion, the unit, in, if for its package, its weight size, its amperage output, everything, um, man, that is that is sweet. So they're, they're referring to it as the cutting beast. Um, we're gonna throw out a promo code, so it's beast. 60x so if you spend fifty dollars or more in consumables when you buy this machine we'll give you sixty dollars back from baker's gas so all, um all in all i mean it's just a it's a great unit comparative wise it's going to fall between a, a, a hypertherm power max 45 and 65 so it falls right in the middle um 
pound for pound though, uh, it's, it's awesome. Sweet machine, cuts really nice. Um, thanks for watching all my videos. Thanks for watching this video. Stay tuned for more videos on this unit. Um, tune in at Baker's Gas. Thanks.